I've been living in Ireland now for the last 21 years and doing the coastline and surfing. I first came over here in 1973 after um, other surfing friends coming over here and, and telling me what the surf was like and what they had a good time with the Guinness and everything. So I thought, right, got to do that scene for a start. So I came over in 73 with the wife then for three weeks holiday and uh, came along the Waterford coast down as far as Mizzen Head and then worked myself all up through the breaks. That was known then and there was no sort of surf reports then to give us any indication of what was going on. So we just pulled in a bay and just surfed and did our thing like that. You know? Surfing has been an amazing direction in my life where I've ended up surfing in so many different countries and it's been just a means to travel. In the past few years in Ireland, people have started to surf bigger waves using jet skis to catch waves and there's been the discovery of different surf breaks. Ireland is becoming very well known with Hawaiians and you know Californians and some of the best surfers in the world are coming to Ireland, you know, to surf these waves in particular. It's such a strange sensation. It's, it's really like a different field altogether to paddling in. And in that setting, um, at Aileen's, you have the Cliffs of Moher up in front of you. So they're, they're, they seem to be rising up in front of you and this big mountain of white water is coming up behind you and they're just there in between, in between them. But it's an amazing buzz. We drove down to Doolin Harbour and there's a little bay at the, the south end of Doolin Harbour and that was like an absolute cauldron down there and we were just like looking at each other going oh my word what have we got ourselves into and at one point someone said oh but what's that island called out there and, and the local guy said ah it's not an island that's, that's the waves <laughs> yeah. so it was massive <laughs> 